Hello, boys and girls. Today, I am in a closet, and I'm here to teach you our next Bible verse, which would begins with the letter Y. And it goes like this. It's, ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. Matthew 5, 14. And you may be wondering why I'm in a closet. Well, it's... Um, daylight and so I needed a dark space. Um, who do you think uh, the light of the world is that we're talking about? We're pointing up. Who lives up in heaven? Jesus. He's the light of the world. You know what the world is? It's the, it's the place where we all live. We might have grandparents or other family members or friends that live on the other side of the world but it's still God's creation, and God is the light of the world. He's the one that brings light to our lives. We have, you know what the darkness is in our lives? It is sin. Sin is in our lives, and until we have Jesus that we love so much that is in our hearts, we won't have light. So we need to be the light and let it shine for others and show them that we love Jesus. We should not be ashamed of God. So I'm going to show you a little something. How does it make you feel when everything is dark? Can you see me now? I don't think you can. And that's what happens when there's sin, boys and girls, in our lives. When there's sin in our hearts, it's dark. And Satan is in charge when there's darkness. And we want to ask Jesus to be the light of our world. How does that make you feel to have light now that you can see me? Now that I have Jesus with me, he is the light of the world and this candle's representing Jesus being hidden in my heart. But now I need to share his love with others and share the light so that others are not walking around in the darkness of sin. So that's why Jesus is the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. Matthew 5, 14. Let's do the verse one more time. Sorry that I'm in a closet. Ye are the light of the world. We're doing our arms big and round like the world. Matthew 5, 14. Matthew 5, 14. Ye is a fancy word for you. We're telling Jesus that you, ye, are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. Matthew 5, 14. So I want you to go and tell your moms and dads or your brothers and sisters, your grandparents, tell somebody what this verse means when you say it to them. Don't just recite the verse. Say it to someone and say, I know what this means. And do you know what the light is? The light is what? It's Jesus. And what does the darkness represent? What is the darkness? The darkness represents the sin that keeps us from Jesus. So we want to ask Jesus, please, Lord, forgive me for the sin in my heart, for saying a bad word today, or pushing my sister, or pulling their hair, or talking ugly to my mom. Please forgive me. And then here comes the light from Jesus, and everything is better, because he washes away our sin, and then there's light. I love you, boys and girls, and I will see you next time.